Well, it's Friday and I have now been on a veil for over a week. I just got a message from my agent last night saying you're still on a veil so don't go anywhere. Uh, but I really want to color and cut my hair. It's too long and too dark. And I just can't. Which is okay. I still feel really blessed to be on hold for over a week. Like that's how much they might want me. Um, but the shoot is on Tuesday in North Carolina, so I'm like, how last minute are they going to decide? Who knows? I'm happy to be along for the ride. I've also signed up for a really intense fitness class today, and I think I'm going to regret it. It sounds really intense, like back and forth between the exercise bike and the mat. I might throw up, but I really hope I don't. Make me feel so good. So I'm legitimately kind of terrified. Um, I don't know if I've ever worked out this hard. I'd like to be in a place where like I'm always working out this hard, but bridging that gap could be really painful. So I'm like freaked out for sure. I'm also like, am I going to be the only chick there? It seems like it's in the middle of Boys Town, so I'm expecting a lot of really fit gay dudes. But what do I know? That's why I'm going to go find out. <laughs> shit. That was intense. I didn't throw up. I feel like it was just kind of the right amount of challenge. Uh, you know, of course, they tried to get me to sign up for an unlimited month for $200. I was like, whoa, I just tried out the class. Like, let me think about it. So, I kind of want to see how I feel tomorrow, you know, see how my body feels. It was a good workout though, I'm glad I did it. All the fancy fitness places are about $200 a month. You know, that might be worth it to spend on my fitness, especially in the beginning while I'm trying to develop a routine, but if I'm gonna spend $200 a month, it better be like my dream workout. Seriously. Like, does Equinox have Pilates reformers machines? Because if they did, that would be what I would do. Well, I washed my hair because I started feeling weird that I wasn't washing my hair very often. Oh, and now I got this face mask on. I can barely move my face. Ugh. See, it gets all weird. Uh, that's when you know it's time to rinse it off. Hopefully my skin doesn't need much more than like this to get better because it's been scaring me how fucked up it looks. My fucking skin's breaking out on one side here. Hmm. Fuck. My agent just texted me. I've been released from a veil. Which means I did not book the commercial. Ugh, I was so perfect for it, man. And that really would help my career out. Ah, <sighs> that sucks. It sucks, but, um... It's really cool that I got considered that seriously. I mean, they had to take over a week to decide that they were officially not going to use me. So, that's a huge compliment. All of it is just a vote for me, you know. It's speaking of my talent. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just have to get the next one. I just hope I keep getting sent out for auditions. I just, I just want more opportunities. I feel like the reason I really wanted this one to happen so bad is because I don't get as many opportunities as I would like to. So I was like, gosh, I gotta seize this one. Um, yeah, so it'd be cool to get more opportunities, but... Ah, Alright, well at least I can get that, get rid of that one. I don't have that on my mind anymore. I'm not gonna be going to North Carolina next weekend. Oh, he just texted me. He says, they hired a local newscaster. So they literally just hired somebody who's in North Carolina, who's an actual newscaster. She better be hot. <laughs> uh, 
whatever. Well, I'm gonna go to a live taping of a TV show. It's a new show on Netflix that I haven't seen, but it's starring Kathy Bates, and she's so awesome. And it's about weed, it's called Disjointed. So I'm gonna go sit in the audience of that for the next couple hours. It should be cool. I used to go to these tapings like all the time. And I've met some really cool people doing it. So, yeah, happy to be getting back into that swing. I feel so much better now that my hair doesn't smell like cigars. That was so nasty. This is my new secret weapon for staying cool in the car. It's a freaking ice pack. Just like rotating it. Uh, feels good. All right, I'm definitely not supposed to bring my phone in, so obviously I'm still gonna try, um, but yeah. Certainly not in Alabama. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're gonna be a bachelor for a long time. <laughs> now we're gonna have each bachelor sing a quick song when you meet the man of your dreams. Bachelor one with the other, ready to go. Ready to go? You got it. Yes, sit over here, guys, real quick. That was awesome. These girls are awesome. Hey! My line buddies. Yes! What up? <laughs> so, yeah, Kathy Bates was great. As always. God, she owns. Phenomenal. Yeah, we're at Warner Brothers. Check it out. Say the white lines. Yes. Yes. All the sound stages. <laughs> Two broke girls parking right there. That's hilarious. There's a show about a weed shop that's owned by Kathy Bates. And these little, like, 20-year-old Italian guys just ask me if I want to go smoke with them. Smoke weed. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I'm fine. It is Friday night, though, and I got nothing to do. I actually have an unusually free weekend this weekend. And I was trying to plan, like, a last-minute trip to maybe... Vancouver or even just like Palm Springs or Malibu <sighs> but it didn't end up working out but now I really want to go now that I'm not on a veil for this commercial I'm like I need like a fucking vacation or just a break a little getaway I really wish I was like heading to one in the morning <sighs> I'm like I could I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, so I snuck my phone in, obviously. Uh, success! <laughs> but I couldn't even really use it because you totally can't have your phone on a soundstage. Like, number one, your phone can go off and ruin the whole take. That's fucking rude. But also, you're not supposed to film anything for sure, so it's very respectful of the studios because I believe in those rules and that stuff, but I just like having my phone in case, I don't know, somebody texts me or, I don't know. It's like now that I'm not fucking getting shwasted all the time, though, and like doing crazy stuff, it's like I'm getting my kicks in other ways, like, that's the one safe way left I have to get my kicks is like... <laughs> I snuck my phone in, they didn't even know. <sighs> okay, Grandma. You make me feel so good. 